guys, it's Tracy McGlaskey, and I am going to do a little tutorial really quick on how to make glitter lettering in case you're making a save the date or a Christmas or holiday card for one of your clients with your images. So I've already brought over a glitter image that I got from a free stock photo on um, Google, and you can get your glitter that way. You can buy some glitter if you want to. Um, but then what I would do is open a new file and so you just go to file and then click new and then your new file will come up. I made mine uh, 4 by 6 with 300 on resolution and I used inches instead of pixels. And once you click OK it will open up a new window for you to do that. You'll simply click uh, the text and create a new text box for yourself. On the save the date that I was making that I wanted this for, I wanted an ampersand and I wanted it to be in glitter. So you just make your ampersand and you can make it as big or small as you want to here with your font size. I made mine 85 just so I can have a giant ampersand. You'll click off of the text box by clicking on your tool for um, your arrow tool. And I drag this layer off of my, my glitter layer so that I can have it separate. Once I've done that, I'll go to my glitter layer, drag my glitter layer over onto my text layer, and you can see if you go over here to your layers that you have your text layer on bottom, your glitter layer on top, and if you remove the eyeball, you'll see it there. Once I've covered my entire ampersand with the glitter, I'll go into layer and choose smart object, convert to smart object, and then um, I can still move my glitter around if I want to. And then I'll go into layer, create clipping mask. And then the glitter goes away from everything except for the ampersand. And voila, there you have it. You can do that with any letter, any text that you want to. So once I've done that, I want to make sure that I can take my ampersand and lay it on top of an image. So I'll take um, this layer and I'll hit Command Shift E to flatten my image and uh, make sure that all my layers are merged together. Then I can move that ampersand around and take it anywhere I want to with the glitter on it. So hopefully this helps you when you're creating some art for clients. And if you like what you heard today, please hit subscribe to our YouTube channel and look forward to more and more tips and tricks to making your life a little bit easier on Photoshop. Thanks so much.